Alright guys, welcome back to the Nerd Cave. Uh, today we are upgrading the Mr. Setup on the Arcade Cabinet. We're going to be converting that to direct video uh, for the CRT there. I've also got a couple of uh, octagonal gates that I'll be installing on the joysticks and uh, the additional memory module so that we'll be ready for the midway cores when they get ready to release. So uh, here we go. All right, so first up, I need to obviously turn the mister off and then remove my current analog I.O. board. All right, guys, so I got my analog I.O. board removed. This is the adapter I've picked up off Amazon. It has a uh, VGA port there. And it has a USB port to be powered if you need to, and a analog audio port. It might be kind of hard to see, but uh, right in there. So I have not tested this yet. We're going to go through this together. But uh, if this works, I will include a link to this adapter in the video description. So any of you looking to do this change uh, will know the correct one to purchase. All right, guys. So before I start installing my additional memory or setting up the VGA to HDMI adapter for direct video, I need to uh, connect into my mister and edit the INI file with a bunch of different ways to do this. I do this through SSH. I'll connect to my mister here. I'll put in our password. And here is my mister INI file. I can edit this. We need to set direct video to one. And I should already have, yes, composite sync for my RGB cables is already set to one. So with those changes, I should be ready to go and should be able to hook my adapter up and get this working. All right, we have it connected. Moment of truth. Let's see what happens here. Well. That worked first try. I'm kind of shocked how well that worked, to be honest. Let's see if we got audio. Yeah, I really should be hearing something here. And I am not. You know what it might be though? I um I believe I had my HDMI port in DVI mode because I was outporting audio over my analog I.O. So let me go and edit my INI file once again and see if I can make that change. And uh, we'll come back to this in just a minute. All right, guys, welcome back. We're going to take a look at this INI file here and see if we can get the audio working. Hey, this right here, this DVI mode is one. I believe that's the reason why I'm not getting audio out. I'm going to set that back to zero, do a quick save. And let's go back to the mister, reboot it, and see if it's working any better. Okay, we've restarted the mister. We've edited our INI file so that uh, it's no longer in DVI mode. Let's go ahead and try that game again and see if we got audio this time.
That sounds good. All right, it's not incredibly loud, but I got audio just fine. I can adjust my volume. All right. All right, so next up, I have got some gates to install on my joysticks. And I've got the additional memory module to install, and then hopefully we can test that. Okay, well, these are my new octagonal gates that are going to go in on the joystick. They just make it a little easier to pull off some of the special moves in games like Street Fighter. These are the regular square gates um, that I'll be removing here. So all we need to do is just pop these little plastic tabs off. I'll try and do it one-handed when I'm holding the camera here. There we go. That one will come off. And that will snap on. Not like that. I'll do the uh, second player as well. And I'm going to keep these because some of the games that we have, like uh, Ghouls and Ghosts is a really great example. It's really a four-way game, and if you hit diagonals, your character just doesn't move in the game. So these, I can actually adjust between eight-way and four-way operations. So I'll keep these as a spare four-way gate for when I play those games. All right, guys, so I'm about to install this additional SD RAM card here. I am told that this first switch right here needs to be flipped in order to use that additional memory module. So I've just gone ahead and flipped that. Let's see if we can get it installed. All right, well, here's our memory module, just like the other one I've got. And uh, from what I understand, this needs to be installed in the same orientation where this label that says this side facing out actually needs to be facing outwards and the memory chips themselves will be facing inwards. So let's get that on here. Looks good. Let's turn it on. All right, guys. Well, as you can see, the uh, direct video solution is working great. I'm able to change my background here, and uh, another side bonus, I'm able to see when I run the update all script, I'm actually able to see something on here, instead of the message about enabling a VGA scaler. I've installed my second SD RAM uh, stick on here, and I didn't really have a whole lot to test it with, because I didn't have the Saturn core. Uh, but I managed to go and find that Saturn core, put it on here, and... Uh, Looks like my second memory stick is working here. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.